Hey, it's okay. This movie's behind you now. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. There's a brand new film on demand. It's called Behind You. I need you to comment down below. What are your thoughts on Behind You? Are you going to buy or rent this film? Spend money on it. Don't do it. So two young sisters find that all of the mirrors in their estranged aunt's house are covered or hidden. When one of them happens upon a mirror in the basement, she unknowingly releases a malicious demon. This is one of the more odd movies I've watched in quite some time, and not because it does anything spectacularly awful, but pretty much every element or aspect of this film is mediocre or Bad slash awful. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and bash on the people involved in this film and bash on the talent and the directors. I believe for both of these directors, it's their first movie on this scale. And I can tell that the idea, the concept that they had was a pretty cool one if you're a fan of horror. But in terms of what the audience is getting, not only from this script, but from what the film brings us as a whole, is not much. Now, I see hardcore horror enthusiasts who just want a couple of scares and maybe one or two cool plot elements. I see you maybe watching this and saying, yeah, it's fun. But I couldn't find a lot of fun in Behind You, to be honest with you. And you know me, I'm the kind of guy who is constantly looking for something in a movie that is on the level of bad that this movie is. I try to be positive, I try to be optimistic, but it falls into so many horror tropes and cliches and none of the characters, like the little girls, okay, their performances are good enough and you like them because they're two little girls, but you don't learn as much about them or their relationship as you should to gravitate towards them. Everyone else except for one individual who comes to the girl's aid when she's needed to is just the worst person until they're not the worst person, until they are the worst person, until once again, they're okay, and the movie continues to flip-flop on how it wants you to feel about two characters in particular, uh, but really everyone surrounding our main two sisters. Now, why do we watch a horror movie like this? We watch it to get scared. We watch it because we want to feel creeped out, and I honestly felt None of that here. There were no scenes within the first two acts of this film that made me even remotely scared. And sure, you could say they don't consistently fall into the trope of giving you jump scare after jump scare after jump scare, and they don't do that, but the plot wasn't interesting enough uh, for me to be okay with the fact that they're not falling into those particular tropes. What they are falling into is just a world, really lore that isn't as established as it needs to be. We don't learn why this is happening necessarily, we just know that it's happening. And all of the best horror films, in my opinion, you have something there to get you interested. Sinister, Insidious, The Conjuring, all of these films ha have elements to where you can build off of the lore, then establish these characters, get you to care about them, and then provide a lot of scares. But this film doesn't do any of that. It gives you a bit of a backstory at the beginning. These two poor sisters have to go to the meanest, most evil-looking aunt I have ever seen and live with her. And from the beginning, from the get-go, it's not subtle when it comes to revealing who its characters are. She's just the worst. Like, if I was one of those little girls, I'd be like, I, I ain't living here. This, this lady's mean. And then you have characters that come in that are obviously up to something, obviously a bit sinister, and it's another thing that they try their best to cover up with the narrative, but it's also obvious as to where they're going. But throughout the end of the second act and throughout the third act, they're flipping and flopping on which characters are on the bad side and then the good side. But when they come to the good side, you're like, but you just... You did that, like, I'm not going to forgive you for what you just did just because you did this other thing, and I'm trying my best not to spoil this film. It's a hard review to do without spoiling because there were so many strange and cringeworthy things that happened in this movie. And I will also use the word cringeworthy when it comes to a few of the performances in this film. And I'm not going to call them out specifically, but there were one or two in here. Every time an important line of dialogue would come about, it would happen, and I'm just like... I didn't feel anything. I don't necessarily feel a connection because the performance is not there. And I get it. It's low budget, this and that. But it's a film that on all fronts, from a technical aspect to the acting to the overall narrative, 
it just fell completely flat for me. And it's just unfortunate because you're rooting for a movie like this to work. I love these low-budget horror surprises, and we get a couple every year. The one that comes to mind from last year, Haunt. Did you guys see that movie? That was a really good low-budget horror film that did not come out in theaters. I thought behind you could be something like that, a very different story. We're dealing with more demonic elements, but even that in itself wasn't scary. It was rated R. And there's really one, two R-rated scenes, and they don't even push the envelope there. I just, I needed more with every element here. If you guys enjoyed my positivity, be sure to leave this video a thumbs up button and let me know what movie you would like to see me review next. Man, I hate to do this. I'm going to 20% for behind you. I spent $6.99 on this film to rent it on Amazon Prime. That was a mistake. $6.99. I could have got a KFC $5 fill-up box. I mean, I do live in Kentucky, so... <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned. More reviews to come this weekend and my streaming service tier list. It's, it's a cool idea. We'll see if I execute. Probably won't. You guys are the best. I'll see you soon.